welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick swatch party video for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing swatches of the new Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar Palette, just keep watching. Now really quick, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I usually like to film swatch videos, review videos, those are really my two favorite things to work on. In the new year, hopefully we'll see some new fun content. I've got so many different things planned for you guys, so I hope you get a chance to stick around and check those out. Also don't forget to check out some of my playlists, I have a whole eyeshadow palette playlist, so if you want to see some of my older videos, I would highly suggest checking that out as well. Without further blabbering, let's get into these swatches. Okay guys, so you probably thought you'd never live to see the day where another Too Faced eyeshadow palette was featured on my channel, but I watched a few different review videos on this palette, and I was on Sephora.com, and it was pretty close to my birthday, and I was like, mm, what the hey, I'll just get it. This is what I always do. It's one of my makeup resolutions not to just buy things for the sake of like buying new palettes, but I'm just so curious to see if Too Faced actually changed up their formula and up their game because they're coming out with so many eyeshadow palettes and this is the one I kind of heard the most buzz about and the most amount of people were saying good things about so it does look very delicious. Most of the shades are shimmer shades. I only see four matte shadows so that's exciting and I love the packaging. It definitely looks like their old chocolate bar shadow palette but there's this like dripping situation and it definitely smells like chocolate like that cocoa infused formula of theirs. Nice sleek palette. It's definitely very heavy. 12 month shelf life. There is a description here on the back that says take decadence to the next level with a luxurious gold and cocoa powder infused eyeshadow palette that smells as good as it looks. Have a major metallic moment with fall shadows that are created with real gold for an epic high shine finish that is paired with rich seductive mattes for coffee to cocktails wear. All shadows feature a soft velvety texture with full coverage payoff. The entire palette is infused with skin loving cocoa powder for a decadent chocolate scent. So I actually have a whole Too Faced playlist. You guys will definitely need to check that out because I have tried a lot of Too Faced palettes and let me tell you a lot of them have not made the cut. So enough blabbering, let's get to swatching. First shade is a green metallic called Money Bags. These definitely feel really rough. To the touch but they are swatching well. I'm gonna swatch all the metallics first and then we'll do the matte. So here are the first finger swatches. I mean it's not swatching terribly but uh, is it blowing my mind? I don't know yet. So the first shade the green is called Money Bags. Then we have Chocolate Gold and then Rich Girl and Love and Coco and then we have Old Money. I see what they did there with the love and cocoa. It's like love and hip hop. Did you guys draw that conclusion or am I totally off base here? So they smell great. They swatch pretty well. With old money, I did pick up quite a bit of shadow. So there's a little bit of a pile on my hand, but that's okay. I'm going to swatch this hot pink shade called new money. Famous, classy and sassy. Holla for a dollar. I like that name and gold dipped. So those are the next five metallic shades. Let's go ahead and swatch. Not bad. What do you think? I don't know if it's like my hairy arms that are like making the foils pile up on my hand, but let me go ahead and just smoothen those out. So yeah, the hot pink shade is called New Money. Then we have Famous. We have Classy and Sassy, Haul for a Dollar is like a antique gold shade and then Gold Dipped is like a beautiful champagne gold color. So they're definitely popping on my skin tone. So that's good. Is this something I've never seen before? I can't say that it is, but I think I'm more concerned about the formula on this one. So last two mat uh, metallics are Living Lavish and Dripping Diamonds. So there they are. I'm actually not a huge silver eyeshadow fan. Like, what do you guys think of silver eyeshadow? I think it looks so contrasting with my tan skin. I usually rarely wear it. So these are the last two. That's Living Lavish is a beautiful purple. 
And then Dripping Diamonds is the silver shade right there. So pretty pigmented. I can't wait to review this palette for you guys. Put it on my eyeballs. And now let me swatch the four matte shades. We've got Chocolate Truffle. Decadent, which is a black, and then we've got So Bougie, and Rolling in Dough, which is one of the bigger shades. So here are the four mattes. I wish they had used So Bougie, the name, on a different color. So, not bad. Actually pretty buttery, pretty pigmented. The black is pretty pigmented for what I usually do. I don't really do smoky eyes, like all black smoky eyes, so... I think this might work. So here are these swatches of the gold chocolate gold bar palette from Too Faced. I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we'll have to see how it does on the eyeballs. I'm not making any promises, but here is another look at the palette and the swatches. Okay guys, that is everything from this video. Let me know if you picked up this palette and what your thoughts are. Did you think that Too Faced has turned over a new leaf and is ready for 2018? Or do you think they should just stay back in 2017 and we should definitely be done with them? We're not giving them any more chances. We are not taking this back, Too Faced. So I'm excited to play with it. Definitely subscribe to my channel so you can keep up. I'm sure I'll have a review up as soon as I can. It usually takes me about a week to test out a palette. I like to wear it every day for a few days and I usually only do my makeup once a day because of course this is not my full-time gig um, so I try to do it as quickly as I can but I definitely like to test it out and get a solid opinion and use as many colors as I can. So anyway thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!